Hello everybody, I'm here now today to show you how to make a tiny, tiny cupcake <laughs> without cooking it of course, because I'm not a very good cook at all Now, this is my entry in, um, or well, my thing that I'm going to swap with Evie and she is to dress to, 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 I'm sorry Evie, I, <laughs> made a mess of that anyway now my hands are really bad and I'm sorry about that but I had I worked on this and I need to keep working because I don't want things to go to dry me I finished this one and um, I've actually got this here for a reason I'll show you in a minute but I'm going to show you how I made this this is not made how Evie described what she made hers because I had a go at that and that did not work for me because that was just me I just could not get it to go I wasn't I'm not a I'm not talented enough to get it um why she she put the molding paste on and just did it with, over the cotton wool the cotton wool idea for me wasn't quite right so um I'm sorry about that Evie but I I did the way that I that I that mine you know worked for me but anyway so this is the tutorial for that um now I got two paper cups right got two little paper cups now you have to have that you'll need a styrofoam egg. You need some of these. Um, uh, what's the name? Glass disc. You'll need a, a round one, round paper one. You'll need some moulding. Um, this is dimensional paint because the moulding paste that I have is not in very good nick, so I wouldn't use that. I have some sprinkles. I have some sticky things to put on, and um, a hot glue gun. Now. Um, so we'll get started on to this. I'm just going to move this piece of paper. I don't need that there. That was just to show the other thing. Now, I'm going to put a bit of, um, I'm going to stick a piece of this onto the bottom, the, the round disc onto the bottom, because I wanted to have a little, let me glue gun. I haven't used this for a while, only just today. And it's, so I'm going to put this little disc first onto the bottom of this. Yeah, that's our play nice now. Come on. Here we go. I just put a new thing in it because the other was sort of running khaki. It was terrible. It's scaring me. Now I'm going to sit the um, little white piece. Actually, two go inside one another. Sorry. Then you'll put the little white piece on the bottom, the disc. That wasn't working because that's not dry. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I'll leave that one over there and I'll come back over here and I'll get some more of this. And hopefully it's hot enough that it's going to stick. It'll probably burn me but it'll stick to the thingy. Oh no, it's hot now. Okay, so you want the disc on the bottom of two cupcake papers. You want two cupcake papers. Now in the inside I put a tiny little dob of glue because I want them to sort of... I'm going to use the bottom one as a thing to hang on to, okay? Because I I've got big hand fingers and they get, you know, everything gets in the way and I think if I have that bit there, I, it was easier for me to work with that when I was making this one. That's why you see this one down that way. And you can either take that off and put a, redo your bottom or you can flick it up. But I think you might have to just take take it off and re put something nice on the bottom of that anyway when you finish. So that's how I started out mine. Then I got one of these um, pieces of... Uh, glass and I put that in the bottom of there because you've got a fairly strong little thing here now Jeez, it won't, doesn't take long to dry does it I'm not used to this now I'm going to fill this around with some glue I hope I'm in the shot here because I'm just going to squirt out the glue to like make it all settle down in the bottom of there just to, to, to make a nice solid base for it because you don't want it tipping over now, whenever you showed hers, this is how she did the bottom of hers too, because, you know, she didn't want hers tipping over as well, you know, so she, this is the way she did her bottom. So, therefore, I that part was going really well for me, <laughs> so far so good. Now, um, then I got some wool filling. Now, I've got a bit here that actually is wool, wool, it's not, because um, this was the first thing I found, okay, so, and then I just... Um, 
And I've got that tip inside, but it's a bit there. That's not going to be good, is it? We'll straighten it up. Uh, I'll have my finger back, please. <laughs> um, goodness gracious me. Uh, nobody panic, please. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Isn't it great? I know the other one was so easy. I thought I'll just do this one take all. Okay, I know. We need that to be sitting cosy in the bottom of there. Okay? Maybe having a little tuck around of it might help. I might push this other one up just for the time being and push it together like this and see if I can't get it to back into some sort of shape. Okay? There we go. We straighten it back up a bit so it's not so... I suppose as it's drying bits so of wool, see I need to put some fluff in there. I need to put fluff in it um, to start with. Stick that on. I that glues to it. There we go. The fluff's in. And hopefully it'll stick there. Now you only want it to come to just to the top there, right? Oh? Unless, of course, you want to build it up higher. Uh, if you made hers higher, but she put spray paint on hers, and I don't have any to to um, to spray it to stop all the little bits of fluff from coming off as you're working along, you know, because otherwise it's going to get all caught in everything. So I went and cheated a fair bit, and I bought I got these eggs that I had for a really long time. It didn't cost very much, does not. And I'm going to have my cupcake about that high, I suppose. Yeah. And see, when you cut this, um, I was worried that the glue might eat the styrofoam away. Well, it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't fell apart yet. I'm going, I won't be able to um, send this out to Evie until I really make sure that they're dry, so I won't probably make it by the due date. I'm sorry about that, Evie. I, I really did... Um, you know, I've had a lot of things working on, but anyway, I'm gonna. I had to make this because it was just the, you know, <laughs> it's just lovely. I really like them. So I put some glue around here on the styrofoam. Now, unless your glue has got this, um, and I don't know if this has. It doesn't seem to be eating it away, is it? Yeah, it is a bit. Let's stick it on quick for it, for it dries. Let's stick it on there quick. I don't think it'll keep going. I think once it's dry, it'll stop eating it. <laughs> we hope <laughs> well anyway that's my um theory i don't know the other thing hasn't fell apart yet so hopefully it won't right now as i said my molding paste is a bit old so i'm not going to use that too late to go and make some more i don't want to, you know i'm gonna i've got to work on this so i'd have to look up a video and then go and figure out how to make it so i use this dimensional paint now this worked really well. I have got others that you can buy in um, uh, this one here, this Montart one. This is purple though. Uh, Evie wanted um, pastel colours and I understand that because you can have really bright colour cakes but I don't know if they look that good. Um, and so I've got a few colours but I've got brown and black and these dark things because I think I was doing some sort of uh, steampunk thing when I was and bought that but anyway so I've got this one and I decided that I wanted a different color so I got it and I put it in this little bowl and I did the tiniest tiniest bit of green the tiniest tiniest bit because I wanted to get this color here okay now I don't know if I've got enough so I'm gonna just mix up a little bit more because I'm a bit worried I need to have enough to cover the top of the cake and oh, I use these sticks, I buy these sticks to use to do this with, do anything like that, because then you can just throw them away. The glue gun just fell down, nobody panicked though, because it's all right, I'm not caught fire to myself at all, I'll be good. Now, um, you ladies have made me con self-conscious about saying nobody panic. <laughs> I can't help that, I just now put too much in, it looks on like too much green. Like you can see here what I'm doing, but I think it's too much green. Although it's still, still pretty pale, isn't it? Still pretty pale. Now the one that I've done, the little cake I've already made, um, when I was putting the little pink things on, I could see that it was starting to dry. So the, 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 the paste, this paste stuff, so that's good. But I'm sure it's going to take about 24 hours to dry properly, and it does say that on there, so we're going to... Um, now this is a nice colour, it'll go with the pink really good I think, it'll go really nice with this pink, 
I'm, have to, I'm not I'm thinking about putting another packet over the top. I'll see. Anyway, it might look nice. You, 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 you just got to have trial and error, I suppose. It's only very thin. But see, this gives me something to hang on to while I do this. Okay. So, I'm just hoping that this is not a nasty colour green. <laughs> it's not too bad, I don't think. I might have cut my egg top a little bit um, smaller, uh, big, smaller than I was wanting because it's not coming out to the sides very far but if you put this around your paste and I have got to mix up some more because I don't have enough if you put that around there it will cover it like that okay so I'm going to sit here and put this around and hope that I don't bore you too much because I'm going to try and cover this see see how that fluff kept getting caught on it well that's what's going to happen if you haven't got the right thing to um, hold it down sort of thing um, Evie painted her, Evie sprayed hers and it, with the spray and it and I didn't just did not have time or couldn't get out to get some of that to do it with so I'm just trying to do my very best here as I can and my piece of paper is coming off the bottom and ah, but it, it can happen it's going to by the seams of things isn't it <laughs> I might have enough of this because we've got to. I might be pushing it too far down the side, so I'm going to hang on to it. And cupcakes just decided to go air all on me here. Come back on there, you. <laughs> I guess when I was doing it, I just lost <laughs> that much fiddling around I was doing. It. Oh dear. Anyway. It's fun. It is fun, isn't it? Look what I'm doing. Isn't it fun? Can't cook. <laughs> I've not cooked at all. I'm not cooking at all. So this way of doing it, I can just, you know, I'm faking it, aren't I? I'm making a fake cake. Yeah. I just push that up there a bit further. Because I'd say, I, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm sure, but it's going to dry and it's going to hang on to itself really nicely. Hopefully it'll look good when I send it Evie. I hope it gets over there in one piece and looks okay. She she likes it okay. Some um, I couldn't buy any more of the little cupcake papers like she had, but these cut these colours nice. These are tiny ones and these are really nice pink ones and and pink and it's blue, isn't it? Yeah blue, a blue a teal blue colour. It's the only ones I could get this time. I think they had silver it's always the way though when you get back to buy something they haven't got any more left or whatever. Now we want it to look good. We do. So we I mean when you do things like this, it's, it's endless the amount of things you can make. It's just, you know, just endless. Now I know that this this one might not be very good. So I might, not, have, I might be, not be able to send to this one because I think you've got a little bit of a bottom problem there. But anyway, I'm giving you an idea of how it's going together. So um, now sometimes icing is a little bit rough like this, isn't it? You know, like got a swirly look to it because I don't think I can do the smooth thing. In fact, I'm sure I can't be here all day trying to do it smooth. I'd imagine. Anyway, so. Stop playing with it, son. It's starting to dry, and it's getting. And you're going to keep mucking it about now. Come on, just leave it alone, and just make sure that all that little tops covered over. Here we go. All right. Oh, so that's. Yeah, we'll be putting another piece of paper over it anyway, or making another one. But this is, you know, this is showing you what not to do too. <laughs> Put paint, paint, paint all over it while you're going. So there's that bit done. Isn't that cool. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Look at it. He's got a, so he's got a flatness in there, but we'll fix that. I mean, he's, he, we'll either make we'll have to make another one, I'd say. Yeah. But anyway, so this is just giving you an idea how how to go about it. So I need to wipe my hands a bit. I don't want to get everything stuck to everything. Now on the top of that, you can put whatever you like. I put on some sprinkles. 
put on some of these green sprinkles so I'm going to be using a different colour this time I don't know what that was about, I couldn't get my breath um, too much talking now I'm going to use a different colour um, for the sprinkle uh, I'll just see what I've got here because these little bottles are very very handy let me see what we got uh, in here I need something that's going to look, it's going to show up but not look too wrong. It's going to go with the pink. It's going to go with the pink and that. Um, last time I just put a little bit on the stick to see what, oh dear, I stuck my finger in that, to see what I, what colour it was going to, how it was going to look. Let me see. Now that piece of paper I moved away. What did I do with that? Mm -hmm. I'll just use this serviette over here. So I might just put a little bit of this on this sticky. And see how bright it's going to be. What it's going to look like. Can't really see it that much. That's not too bad, is it? That might look alright. Hmm. Little, little, little pipply things. Little pink little pink bits so this is going to be a little bit tricky because I don't want to put too many in the one place because that wouldn't be good would it if you had them all together <laughs> oh is that cool <laughs> oh wow <laughs> that's awesome it's a little cake I don't know if there's a few more a few more here Wow, isn't that good? Oh, I love it. Now, <laughs> I'm going to put some more, because um, see, that's going to stick to it because of the paste and it's starting to dry. I was going to put some of these little tiny dots on. Now, I've got green ones and I've got blue ones in these bigger packets, but I actually had a mixture of colours and I spilt them. But I don't want to use those. I think I might put on these... Um, I think the pink ones are too, too pink. I don't know. I'm going to put one on and see. No, we can't do that because it won't let you. You put one on there and it's there for life because it's not going to, um, not going to want to come off, I tell you now, without making a hole in it. No, I think I'm going to go with something that's a bit like a, a pearl. I think I want to do a pearly thing. I think. Wait a minute. I know, let's see if we, that, that's not going to work. It's, they've got no sticky on the back of them. They're going to be really hard for me to put on there. Um, what else did, was that? Would I have another ID? I don't know. Maybe I'll just put one on the top today. And then when I build the next one up, I'll change the, change it how it looks. I want to sit that up there on top of the cake. Look at that. Oops. He needs to be a little bit bigger, doesn't he? He looks very lonely there, that bloke. Well, let's make a little bit bigger one. Because the cupcake does have a little one on top, doesn't it? How about this one? Whoops, it's on the floor, that bloke. Yeah. Hang on now, we'll get this one on. That's better. It's got a bit of size to him, come on. Oh dear. It's very fiddly, but very fun, isn't it? love tiny making little things I do really do oh goodness me look there you go there's a cupcake for Evie <laughs> and there's another one so I hope everybody likes that if you could just leave me a comment and tell me what you think about it or if you've got any questions about it um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to redo him because he's squashed I wouldn't send him to him like that I'll have to um pull him apart <laughs> and uh, use his top and redo him I think yeah, or keep that as a what not to do okay so thank you everybody for watching and I hope you just have a good day and um, and, and go and make some of these <laughs> thank you bye bye